if you've been doing the keto diet and you've ended up with high cholesterol levels, specifically LDL, and you're worried about it and you're thinking about quitting, well, hey, don't quit yet because I'm going to give you the information on why it's not actually an issue or a bad thing and what might actually be causing it. Welcome back to the channel everybody and if you are new here please consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell icon if you want to see what keto and intermittent fasting can do to take your health to the next level. New videos every Sunday slam packed with information that can help you out. So the fat cell is composed of two things. You've got triglycerides and cholesterol. When you first start doing keto and intermittent fasting, triglycerides are going to be the first thing to come out of the fat cell, and these can be used and burned by the body for fuel. Obviously, you should see your triglycerides come down in your blood work. But if you don't, and although this is rare, there may be some damage in your liver. This is because the liver is responsible for taking fats and convert them into ketones for fuel. But in this case, you would need some purified bile salts and a good liver support to help that process and help the liver heal. Also, this could be because your gallbladder is congested as well. In that case, you would need to get a good gallbladder support. But like I said, both of these conditions are usually pretty rare. So there's going to be a point and this point can differ a lot from person to person, but somewhere around the second, third, fourth week, all the way up to two months, the cholesterol in the fat cell is going to begin to be released. So this excess cholesterol that's beginning to come out of your fat cells has to be dealt with by the liver through the gallbladder with the help of bile to break it down. So it's like I said with the triglycerides, if you have damage in your liver or your gallbladder or you don't have enough bile to break this excess cholesterol down, you're going to end up having a backup and that's going to cause high LDL. You can view LDL as kind of like a vehicle. It takes these things from the fat cell into the liver and then from the liver back out into the bloodstream. So when you have a backup in this chain of processing this extra cholesterol, what's going to happen is you're going to have more LDL present because it's taken longer to get it processed through the liver. Now I'm sure that you've been told that this is dangerous, but I'm here to tell you that it's not as long as you're doing a healthy, clean version of keto. You have to know that LDL elevates when there's damage in the vascular system, but that's not what's happening here. You're just having a backup of excess cholesterol that's having a hard time getting processed out of the body. LDL cholesterol is a type of cholesterol that is very fluffy and buoyant so it circulates easily through your system and it's not sticky. Once the fat cell shrinks down to where it should be normally and you have addressed all the issues that you may have with your liver, gallbladder, or amount of bile that you have, your LDL will begin to come back down into that normal range. Now, like I already said, I have to stress this is not something to be worried about. It's just something that has to happen. The triglycerides will come out and be burnt up for fuel. The cholesterol will follow soon afterwards and depending on your liver and gallbladder health, your LDL will rise up to some degree. And then as you get closer to burning up all that excessive cholesterol that's been coming out of your fat cells from fat burning, and then it'll come back down. If this helped to clear things up on high cholesterol and doing keto, be sure to give that like button a little tickle and share it with somebody that could really use this information. Keep it keto, keep it healthy, and I will see you guys in the next video.